a twink and a red head a twink and a red head a twink and a red head a twink Na 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 You are the music in me It's na na not la la Na 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 You are the music Okay they shouldn't have us like like as kids we're supposed to root for Gabriella like she's the nice girl they should not have made Sharpay and Troy's rendition of that song serve so much harder than Gabriella and Troy's. Gabriella and Troy's is like, you are the music in me. I hated Ryan. And then Gabriella or Sharpay and Troy, like she made that <gasps> oh, stage. Oh, like, it wasn't Sharpay and Ryan? No, it was Sharpay and Troy. Oh. That's when she's trying to steal Troy. And like their rendition is so much fucking better than Gabrielle and Troy's. Okay, anyways. Hi, you guys. <laughs> they know what I'm talking about. I guess. Um, Hi, everyone. Welcome back to A Twink and a Redhead. I'm Grant. I'm Ash. Sometimes. Shibbity yeah. <laughs> We keep, we keep, sc- what's like it called? Scatting? Okay, but isn't scatting, doesn't that have to do with shit? Scat is shit. That like Scat anthrop- <laughs> <laughs> anthropologists like go up to like shit in like the desert and they're like, they oh yes, an, elef- an elephant about age five obviously left this. Anyways, anyway. we have been really into s- scatting, scatting, I guess. We don't know if that's this what thing it's called. This thing where you go, shibbity bop bop. Whatever that style of music is called from we like love the 60s? It. We is just, it from like that diner? I, we just walk around our apartment going, shibbity ba! Yep. Anyway, that's what's I'm going wearing, on in our neck of the woods. I'm wearing um, a shirt of one of my like fave TikTokers right now. It's kind of, she's kind of niche, but she, she's not niche. She has like almost 100K followers right now, but her name's Jay Gottlieb. And I'm wearing her shirt. It's just her face. And she's so iconic. She's like live 24-7 in New York City. And (sighs) (laughs) damn, Ashley keeps yawning every time I talk. Anyway. So you don't like Jay. Is that what you're saying? Love, 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 love. Okay, cool. You were yawning. Sorry that you didn't know. Love. Um, Anyways, she's just so like literally she's live 24 7 and like you get so invested in her life like you're, it's just like fly on the wall yeah and she like was it like, feels like big brother it does and i love like her. she'll put it in the corner and she'll like clean her bathtub yeah and i'm literally just like have popcorn like, what's yes. she gonna do next okay well she's like renovating her apartment right yeah. now and she had like a plumber come and she got into like a fight with the yeah, plumber she must own that apartment huh yeah i uh, i need to come check out this apartment like me and Ash are coming by, Jay. We're yeah, going to... what's going on? We need to check out this apartment. It looks really nice. But basically, this plumber came by. She got into a big fight with him. On and the he live? Was like, yes. And he was, like, misgendering her and being really fucking rude. Wait, what? And it was, like, a whole event. And I was just, like, even, I was just like, oh, my God. I was like, Wait, get that's his crazy. App. Yeah. And then, like, she went to, like, the paint store. She's picking it. Like, I, I feel like I've been... So a part of this renovation journey. That's but anyway, great. shout out Jay Gottlieb. That's what love, 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 what love your into. content. Yeah. Um, what the hell have you been up to? Me? Yeah, I'm talking to you. Um, I've been reading. Oh, you you love to talk about. I'm reading. reading. Okay, right now. Here we go. I'm. I read the first one like a few weeks ago, and I thought it the was the first just one of what. Bear Town. I was gonna say that I oh. read the first book in the Bear Town trilogy a few weeks ago, and I thought the first book, Bear Town, was one of the best books and best depictions of like <laughs> sexual assault and like high school. Like it was just so good. Ashley came and I highly my room. recommend it. I was on. I was like crying. I was laughing. Like this book was amazing. <laughs> 
and I finished it at like 11 30 p.m and i go to grant's room like grant she read the best book like ever and she spoiled it cover and then to I, cover. I literally told him every detail <laughs> cover to cover and then ab like he didn't he didn't say this till after i was done <laughs> spoiling <laughs> everything he's like what if i wanted to read that and i was like yeah i was like damn that sounds like a good book i would have really loved to read that. okay you haven't read a book since like summer reading circa 2017 okay not true i read the hunger games prequel Okay, well... But even that, I got the audiobook. Yeah. You're, but it's still reading. I that You're more of a Dr. Seuss type. Oh, Amelia Bedelia. You're more of an Amelia I, Bedelia type. Ger- Geronimo Stilton. We so love good. Geronimo Stilton. Oh, my God. I love Geronimo and all his hijinks. He was a crazy little rat. He a was silly a little crazy little li- We should make a Geronimo Stilton TikTok. We should, something about Geronimo Stilton. That man was hot. He was hot for an animated rat. He was. And he, he was. knew he had like he had so many skills. He had so many skills. I could not tell you what the premise of those books were. He was just was, it, was he a detective? Was he? I just I know, know he had the the brother who was like the little like chubbier rat. Uh-huh. And then he had the little nephew. I think his name was Benjamin. And then he had the sister who was like a pilot and she would always wear the purple fur coat. You know who pissed me off? I can't. I can't even tell you what the books were about. Junie B. Jones. Junie was a fucking bitch. Who the fuck but was that? But I think that? the point of those books were to say like, if you have bad behavior, like people aren't gonna like you. Damn! But she was <laughs> so annoying. She was annoying. You know what books I loved? Who? The Magic Tree House. Yeah. Jack and Annie were always like. Those two crazy kids were literally on the Titanic. Like they literally they went to the they Titanic. They went and saw dinosaurs. They went. I. They were in the Revolutionary War. Like, wow. God. Like, and they like just made it through. Like, there are people in the Revolutionary War getting like amputations from having gangrene. And they were just and they watching. were just like just watching, like using it for their purposes. like school reports. Yeah. Wow. You know. I would love to have a magic tree house. I just realized one of my first sexual awakenings or like first realizations of me being gay what the hardy boys oh i mean uh, with a name just, like that let's just say i was hard for the hardy boys yeah 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 <laughs> damn <laughs> children's like it, children's and like tween books are really good they're, they're really good they're I'm, really good i might go back and read they're really easy to read um i like percy jackson i feel like that was more like middle school but those books are so fucking good my mom i still would pick one of those bad boys up my mom in fourth i was in like believe it or not ashley i was in like the advanced reading group or whatever in fourth mm. grade okay um and we were reading a book about like disasters oh i remember this and this book went into graphic detail we are 10 years old it was talking about how in like a hurricane in louisiana or it might have been like hurricane katrina it was talking about like how debris in the water would decapitate (laughs) Like, people in the water trying to, like, swim and, like, people would die. Like, it went into graphic detail or how things would fly in the air and, like, decapitate people. And my mom was, like, I, like, asked her, I was, like, what does the word decapitate mean? (laughs) And she was, like, what are you reading? And then my mom started a crusade against my elementary school. And she, like, she was, like threatening to like go to the new york times and like other news publications about how we're like reading this graphic book because she was telling them like she let them know and then they were like okay well this is what they're reading and they didn't really care but my mom got to the bottom of it apparently the books we were reading were for high schoolers (gasps) who read at a like fourth grade reading level so like the content in the books were meant for like teenagers who like you they, know, and they what, just accidentally assigned it to y'all. Yeah, I guess so. Or, or like uh, they don't, they weren't paying Seems attention. Like a grave clerical error. Yeah, so that's why my mom was like, "I'm gonna go to the news if y'all don't take this Damn. off the list." And then they did. We stopped reading it, but it was giving other um, kids nightmares. Jenny, or our friend Jenny and I, we were in the advanced reading group, also in fourth grade, and we read sure. this book about like Scotland, and. 
uh, one of the kids is like sentenced to death and he's going to get hung. Yeah. And there's like one scene where they put a dagger through. Like it was pretty violent, <gasps> but we like were. It was. It might have been the it same. It was literally thing. a three person group. It was me, Jenny, and Jordan. And the three of us, like, we were eating that shit up. We, like, thought it was the best book we've ever read. It was called The Raven Master's Secret. I still <laughs> remember it. Because it was, was so. It, it was fiction? Yes. Oh. We, I, we literally, like, were consumed by this novel. And we had to make a project based on, like, a historical fiction book. And you had to, like, bring something in that was, like, from that era and i think i did i did a different book i did one of the like i think i did like an american girl doll book that was like kit during the <laughs> great depression and i brought like <laughs> coins in but jenny and her dad as like a replica from the time of the scottish book they made a s- miniature like noose, noose? <laughs> they, like made like a no. wood like a wooden like post and then they made like a noose <laughs> Oh my god! And like Jenny brought it in, and like it was like the whole grade was going around seeing everyone's like dioramas, and Jenny's was. I'm not gonna. I'm not saying any details, but remember my presentation sophomore year of high school in English class. Yes, people had crazy presentations. Yeah, mine was crazy. Can't. Even, I'm not going into details. Yeah, you shouldn't. Let's um, just say it was bad. I I like. But, like, even thinking about, like, the books we read back then and, like. No, I loved was, that book. They were, no, uh, yeah, but, like, in high school. And st- I just think some of the book choices maybe need to be a reworked. I get that there's, like, history to these, but, like, why can't we modernize some of it? You know what I mean? And I found that the books that I did enjoy more in school were the ones that were, like, more newer. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, I liked some. Of, I love some old books that we read, like of mice and I'm men. Sure that book's you did. so good. I'm sure you did like that book. I love that book. Yeah, Shakespeare, great. Shakespeare, I like because he's gay. Yeah. Anyways, Anyways, shall we get into the word of the episode? Yes. One, two, three. Today we will be celebrating. Amusement parks. parks. Woohoo! We love. Um, we're amusement park fanatics. I love amusement parks. I wanted to be a roller coaster designer when I an was an imagineer. A kid. Well, at first it was just ro- like when I literally was obsessed with roller coasters for some reason. There's some sort of correlation. Did you play roller coaster tycoon? Yeah. Yeah. And also there was a a game on the Wii called Thrillville. That I loved because it was Ooh, more so. It was fun. it was like roller t- coaster tycoon. If you were actually in it, not just a bird above it all, like yeah, you're in it, and you're building, you're literally building the roller coaster. Well, roller coaster tycoon, like there was like a graphic after where like you could like see what the ride would be if you were on like it. Like the POV. Yeah. Yeah. But it wasn't but the same. I I like. There's some sort of weird correlation I think between gay people and trains. Or roller coasters, or no, there is. Okay. If if I'm <laughs> if anyone else is like that, can y'all DM me and let me know because I swear. Um, but I love trains. Like I started with Thomas Tank Engine, and then I loved um roller coasters. And then in kindergarten, I had this big book of roller coasters, and it said like the tallest ones at the time. It was Top Thrill Dragster in Cedar Point, um, which is oh, in I've been there. Ohio. Really? It's the roller coaster, one of the roller coaster capitals of the world. I've been there, yeah. Did you ride Top Thrill Drags? I was like five. Okay, so that doesn't even count. I remember it, You though. haven't been anywhere until you're like eight. Yeah. Like, I I'm also sorry. went to um, King's Dominion in Virginia. I've been to King's Dominion, the volcano. The volcano's crazy, Grouse. Yeah. I think I was like maybe like 10 or 11 when I went on that ride. I was fucking terrified guys the way it comes this out. ride like it's like you're in mm-hmm. where you like board the ride is like inside a volcano and the ride like it shoots, shoots out. you out of the volcano and upside down right like it's like a i think so and then when you emerge from the volcano like there's fire around it so like it's that thing on rides where like you're hot for a second because it's like it's crazy. Yeah, that ride is a good ride. And then there's the ride that goes underwater, the roller coaster that has a tunnel underwater. 
Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It literally is a hill, and it drops. It, it looks beginning? like you're just going into water, and then there's, like, a tunnel underneath the water. It's great. That right, that, that theme park's pretty good. I've only went there once. I was, like, 12 Same. or 13. But it clearly left a mark. Um, but I used to watch Coaster Force. Do you know this YouTube no, channel? No, I don't. I'm mm. not familiar with that IP. So you, I don't, you seem to have... I don't know. There, we were like two different kinds of amusement park goers. I feel like you love the experience. I love the experience. Like I'm, I'm not gonna sit and watch a Disney vlog. Oh, I'm hey. not gonna watch a roller coaster video. I'll ex- like I don't care for other people's experience. I want to experience it. I I will watch like eating. Like I love watching TikToks where people like, eat their way through amusement parks. I fucking oh love that shit. Who's that crazy girl? I think it was like BuzzFeed, um, who like eat it. Ate her way through like Universal Harry Potter World. And, oh, you know what I'm talking about? no, I just She's follow these so TikTokers. Funny. Um, but I, what the fuck was I gonna fucking say? Your, your YouTube, sorry. Oh, oh yeah, I used to watch POVs of like roller coasters, and then I also to this day still, if I know there's like a big roller coaster being built, I'll like watch like construction updates or like right now. So I am that girl who who watches like. Like, I don't know what it is, but I'll watch a Disney Park vlogger. Like, I eat it up. Tim Tracker. So interesting. Um, Ordinary Adventures. I fucking love Ordinary Adventures. I love, um, I actually don't. I was about to say someone else who I love, but I actually watch this person out of, like, jealousy. Um, I'm not going to say their name now because whatever. But, but I watch them a lot. And they just, like, lived their life. Michael K. I know him. You know Michael K. Yeah. Shout out Michael K. I think he's kind of like retired or like took it, t- taking it back a notch. But like, they are so interesting to me. Like these people move their lives to like Orlando or like Anaheim, like wherever these parks are, and they dead ass like go to the park every day or any big update there is. They and they just vlog, and it's like that's their career. Like they make money doing that. And period. I mean, you gotta pay for those season passes somehow. <laughs> right but like i don't know i find it so fascinating and like what's it's the psychology there like i mean i mean, I, I think there i actually listened to a podcast once on like disney adults and i think there's something that like people hold on to the nostalgia mm-hmm. of disney movies and disney parks and they're just like they love that feeling they think that, like i actually like i think it's endearing i don't no, have yeah. any problem with a disney adult i think I it's really either. endearing i do too i very well think my life could have gone down that path and i remember in high school I, your life could have absolutely gone down that path yeah i, I mean i w- did want to be an imagineer at one point and then i remember in, i was looking up like in high school disney college program and i was like why can't i apply I okay the disney college thing. program no but yeah then i learned about it it's apparently like indentured servitude yeah yeah yeah, yeah. but like i it's have like thought sur- about you're it. like in a serfdom but they have new housing that's like really nice really yes, well they probably like, got all the fucking criticism damn what the fuck do you have against the Disney College? <laughs> no, I just feel like it's like they make them like clean bathrooms. Well, it, I think it's like you. Up, well, I'm talking out of my ass here, but I have watched videos and whatever. You apply or like rank, I think, like the different departments. Again, I don't know if this is true, but like we yeah, got one of them is like janitorial. I just don't think that the Disney College program equates taking like five classes at your college. No. But, but, but it's, it's like, I feel like I an don't know. I don't know enough. Yeah, it's an internship, but like, not really. Like, I feel like you could get hired at the parks after. Yeah. As a, as a janitor. <laughs> <laughs> you won't be an Imagineer. Also, oh, <gasps> I worked at Six Flags Great Adventure. Oh my God, I <laughs> forgot. You guys, the biggest lesson I learned from this story. sometimes don't follow your dreams w- don't work where you play okay um, <laughs> my freshman year of college so i love six flags great adventure growing up this is our local new jersey park it's also i uh, last i checked I, I haven't checked in a minute but it's one of the biggest amusement parks in the world is king to the tallest roller coaster yes 
It okay, still Toma, is. the tallest roller coaster. It's yeah, King Naka. And that shit is crazy. It launches you out, goes over a giant hill, comes down. It literally is a 10 second ride. It's, it's crazy. Every time I go on it, I feel a bit violated. Why? I'm, because I'm like, what the fuck did that just do to me? Yes. And like, no, also, like, like, I yes, I boarded it. You feel it, I like went on it. the air pressure at the top of that damn hill. And it's like. People's I, phones crack if it's like in your pocket. And then you you get to the station. Everyone's hair is like crazy yeah. and sticking up it looks like you just like went to space and back oh my god something. i went during the pandemic and we had to wear masks <laughs> <laughs> my mask ripped off like <laughs> the fuck did they think yeah like, no like you're not allowed to wear sunglasses like some rides like, you can't you have put sunglasses your on your heads or something you're not allowed to wear sunglasses because it could be like a safety hazard and like shoot at someone's face yeah. and like break their nose yeah you people could die it's like it's the so I think it's the second fastest in the world. There's like a you mean tallest? No, it's the it's the tallest and second fastest. Oh, and sometimes there's this these, there are these rollbacks where oh, they yeah. don't get enough speed, so they go up the hill and they come and back it, down. They don't have enough speed to go like over. all the way over, so they roll back down. And then they have to try <laughs> to get more velocity on the second one. Hey yo. Anyway, you worked at Six Flags. Yeah, so this is the park I worked at. And I I think why I did it, I was imagining that I was going to, like, be the one on the loudspeaker when you, like, board the roller coaster. You got to work for that. They're like, um, what do they say? They're like, oh, visual scan. All clear. Dispatch. (laughs) Enjoy your ride on El Toro or whatever. You just wanted to say dispatch. I just wanted to talk in the mic and be like, did you all enjoy your ride? You you look a little. Did <laughs> you guys want to go again? Y'all want to go? Like, yeah, I wanted to just have that mic. Um, and so this, I'm I'm a full ass adult too. I'm like 19. I think I just turned 20. Also, <laughs> I think it's worth noting that yes, it is our local amusement park. It's but not it local. Is an hour drive. Yeah, it was with it, no traffic. Maybe? Yeah, it like was a, like a of commute. <laughs> it, and you're it, yeah, getting paid what minimum wage? Yeah, so like I you're literally you're gonna end up like breaking even with gas and all that. Yeah, I was driving an hour, and this is the summer after my freshman year of college, and and we all told him not to take this job. Everyone did. My parents, my friends, and girls like this is my dream. Everyone was like, "Why are you working at Six Flags?" And so I get there and I, sl- I start to realize I'm like, oh, uh, like everyone else who's working like the rides are like high schoolers <laughs> or like, like, I hate to say this, but like prisoners or like, you know, people given like a second chance. What are those people called? Um, I don't know. But like people who are being re intro into like, you know, court, the war- the work world. Um, and so that was like the demo of like the employees. And I remember my interview, the HR lady who was interviewing me was like, are you sure you want to like do ride operations? Like you don't want to do like HR, like in the office or anything. And I was like, no, I want to do ride operations. Wait, they tried to offer you a better job. Yes, because they're like, usually like the ride operation, they literally told me this. They're like, the ride operators are usually like in high school or like kind of younger. And like people in the office are more like around your age. (laughs) <laughs> I didn't know this And I was like Oh my god Oh but I Like s- you're just a kid With a dream Yeah and So I still was like Okay um, I did all the training And then I <laughs> The total amount Of time I worked here Was for like <laughs> Two weeks And only two days Like in the I field thought, Everything else I was training it was way less I thought it was three days Total it, So in the p- actual park working it was like two or three days but before that it was like some training so i was there for like two weeks um but they put me on i was so mad they put me on fucking ranger pilots which is, is that this like a kids ride yes this baby dumbo-esque you wanted to ride. be on like superman I wanted, yeah, I wanted El a Toro. roller coaster. Yeah. And, and then I realized there's a seniority. These high schoolers <laughs> have been coming back for years it's trying political. to. Get, yes, they've bit like, and everyone wants that microphone. They're climbing the corporate ladder to like El Toro. Yes, yes. Like you start at Ranger Pilots and Is then you King like. Is King Dakar like you oh, are yeah. like 
no, King yeah, you're the, the cool. fucking castle. Yes, you're that. That was how it was too. It was like if you work at like El Toro or like these big. It's like wearing coasters. a varsity letter. Yes, like and yeah. they walked around like so prideful of it too, and I was like, maybe I, I am a little too old for this shit because what the fuck, like. And you're like commuting, like you're like putting in serious effort for this. I was, and I, it's so, it's so, it's such like an on brand thing for me to have done though. Like I would work you at were Six Flags for two weeks. The king and then quit. of short term employment. Yeah. I was so proud. Oh my God. American Eagle. I worked at American Eagle. Abercrombie. I quit American Eagle before I could work the first day. Like, I did all the paperwork. I got hired to do the interview, and then I quit after the first day. Abercrombie, Abercrombie I thought, was so long. I w- it was, like, four months. I thought that was so long. Remember when you worked for your neighbor, too, to, like, edit a video? Yeah, that was, like, two months. Yeah. Okay, well, what about it? No, I'm just saying, like, that's another short-term job. Anyways, yeah, Six Flags. Du- Six and, and like, flags. yeah, I started to see all the in and ins and outs of it all, too. And I was like, it, it ruined the magic. So don't work where you play. You don't want to see behind you the don't, curtain. You don't shit where you eat. And that's what I learned from my two weeks at Six Flags Great Adventure in Jackson, New Jersey. That's beautiful. Yep. And I still, they were like... <laughs> I'm so sorry to Six Flags, New Jersey, but they were, like, harassing me to give back the uniform. I still have it somewhere. Shut up. They were like, can I please have, like, the blue collared shirt back? Like, no, girl. Like, you can afford a new one. They had a whole costume department of, like, these khaki shorts and, like, what shirts. Like, how did they own the, to use the, like, Superman IP and, like, Batman? Good question. I don't fucking know. And like, what <laughs> characters are really associated with it's Six like, Flags? It's like I think it's Warner Bros. I think so too. Because so like Bugs cause Bunny. Because it's like Looney Tunes. Yeah. You but it's like a w- it's weird. Yeah, it is something weird. weird is going on at Six Flags. There is something and it weird. draws such a strange it draws crowd. Such a strange. Did you ever go to the like horror nights? I forget what it's called. Fright Fest. Fright Fest. I yeah. have. I have. Okay, you go to Fright Fest when you're like in high school, and then like when I was in college, I went to Hollywood Horror Nights. Ooh, it's like incomparable. Oh like, yeah, yeah. Ho- Hollywood Horror Nights at Universal mm-hmm. in. Orlando was so much fun. Yeah, everyone's They're doing that. um a Last of Us. I want to go so bad. Should we go to Hollywood Horror Nights? Yes, and then I we want could do like to. Disney? I've never been. I It's scary. No, like it's actually like terrifying. I love it. I love um Universal. Do you are you more of a Universal girl or Disney girl? I this literally is such a wrote a query. note to bring this up. I'm more of a Universal person. You like, give that. I like Disney for like the nostalgia, but in terms of like rides, I prefer the rides at Universal. And also like I like truly love Harry Potter World. Like they really did something magical they there. Did, they did. Like they made an experience. I also like there are some like weird rides that i just like love at universal like i love the like video spider-man ride it's so it's good and you don't so get like, fun for no or, reason like, and i love the jurassic park log flu yes. it's just so fun it's so good and it's such a cute story also the like the other like more like digital ride the transformers ride is really that's really like Spider-Man. fun isn't that like same kind of yes ride as it's Spider-Man? so fun like i went when i was in high school and me and i was with like family friends and my family we would just like there was like no one in the park for some reason we would just like go on that ride over and over you know what ride sucked and i'm so glad i think it's closing what? or it is closed what? already the fucking simpsons like i'm sorry i loved that ride growing up I was what the, only the one. Fuck? it made everyone sick and i was just like this is fun. yeah no it makes you yeah so no i loved sick. it the way i thought it was like a real roller coaster and then you, you just like lift up and it's just a dome with a movie screen yeah and no like it's you're crazy just but i love the around. big donuts they have in the simpsons area they have these giant strawberry donuts oh man they're so good um i agree with you that like harry potter world i think and like the mummy 
Oh. That's one of the best. I think that, and there's no loops or anything, but I oh. truly think that's one of the best roller coasters. That shit is good. I don't even, I I've never seen that, that movie, ride. and I when eat the, that with right the up. Turn I was shook the first the time. Fire, the fire, the bugs. Table. Yeah. Oh my God, what's wrong with us? <laughs> We're like screaming. Um, sorry. Um, but anyways, the Harry Potter world in comparison to like Star Wars, Star Wars Galaxy's Edge or whatever at Disney, I think it's incomparable. You think Harry Potter world's better? Yes. See, so okay, much so to better. Me, like, no offense. There's something just like magical feeling about the Harry Potter like world. Like I it. feel like I am. In, like at Hogwarts, I'm in Hogsmeade. And I then am when you there. watch the movies, you're like, oh, I've been there. And also the part two they made at Gringotts and, yeah, and, and then uh, Diagon the, Alley. And they connected it with the like, Hogwarts Express. So both Genius. Ri- I do like the castle ride better, but both are so fun. I like um, Gringotts. The Escape recent, from Gringotts. Yeah, so I, I remember being absolutely shook the first time I went on the castle ride. Oh, man, I love the, it. Where you're riding a broomstick. I was like, this is the most innovative, like, thing i've ever seen i was so immersed but then the last time i did it which was like not too long ago i feel like it was when we we went in college when there was a hurricane (laughs) yeah oh no i went with my friend um jen shout out jen yeah not you oh sorry yeah so that it made me nauseous i was like am i getting older like yeah no uh, I, I've heard people get nauseous on that one. But Gringotts is also really, like, creative Also, and like, cool. when you're... It's like a Because the coaster. line for the Hogwarts ride, like, I went, af- like, close after Hogwarts opened in Universal when I was in high school, and the lines would be, like, two and a half hours long. Oh, my God. But the first time you go, it's so cool. Like, you're, like, walking through the castle. Uh, like, yeah, you don't the, ma- like, you don't really care. Yeah, you don't care if the Same line is Same at Gringotts. Like, it's hours. so cool. Yeah. Oh, my God. They eat it <laughs> We're up. such losers. <laughs> no, we're not, because no, everyone else feels this. the same. Like, um, yeah, Universal I think is better than Disney. I so I think, oof, it's hard. I I really, love Epcot though, and I really want to do drinks around the world. I know. I like, have you not do it, done that yet? No, I haven't either. I've not, and I went to Disneyland. For oh the yeah, first I was time. gonna ask what. Okay, was that so. Like? I'm so sorry to, like, California or West Coast girlies who have only been to Disneyland and have never been to, like, Disney World in Orlando. They're, like, obsessed with Disneyland. They're like, this is, like, so magical, blah, 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 blah. Y'all have not even seen, like, Disney World. Like Disneyland is just one park? It's Yeah, Disneyland is one park. It's I guess it's, like, Magic Kingdom-esque, but then they also have Galaxy's Edge in there. And then... California Adventure is, like, pretty unique, but it's also small. Like, it's so small. Also, you can see outside of the park. Oh, that would never yeah. fly at Disney. No, no, at Wait, World's so the anymore. Orlando property is probably, like, what, ten times the size it's of like Disneyland? It's, like, you can tell that they took Disneyland, and then they were, like, oh, Let's okay. Let's fucking go to, crazy with yeah, this. Yeah, and we need to, like, put it in the it's middle It's on nowhere. steroids. Like, yeah. It, it's, they bought land, Yeah, y'all. my friends I was with, like, Lyndon and Taryn, shout out you guys, um, they're from like California and so that's all they know and they're like so confused at how I was like unimpressed. Like I was like, Y'all just like have like I loved it. It was so fun and like cool to see like the original. But I was like, Y'all have the not castle's seen. like nothing, right? No, it's so small. It was actually embarrassing. Like at the end of the street, you know how like in Disney World in Magic Kingdom, you can you're see like, it the you turn you end- right, you turn yeah. the corner, it's like, Oh, there it is. What's at the that end called? Of the street. Main Street? Main Street yeah. USA. You you're at the end of Main Street USA in Disneyland. You Where can't even see it. You wow. can't even see it. Like, I was like, Yeah, I what? feel like that's not the, like, whenever someone goes to Disneyland, that's not the photo op. The photo op is that, like, sphere thing. What the, what sphere thing? I don't know. You took a picture there on that bridge. Sphere thing. The, the Ferris wheel. The Ferris wheel. Is oh, <laughs> I, maybe I'm confusing the Epcot ball. Yeah, no, yeah, that's the Ferris wheel. I wanted to go on that. That it has like the Ferris wheel. Yeah, because p- the cars move. Oh, that's cool. In it while it Ooh, rotates. A little thrill. I I went on. Okay, I was about to like act like I was gagged over this ride. I wasn't. I went on um the roller coaster, the Incredi coaster. The theming was cute and fun. It would not end. Really? I was like, please get me off stuff? this roller coaster. There's one, and it's like that famous loop in the Mickey uh, head or whatever. 
<laughs> and were there any um corkscrews? I love a corkscrew. No, but it was like rough, low key. Like it was oh, an I, old I roller coaster. Like it was that. it was a it was jankier than I expected. Did you go on the Guardians of the Galaxy? Tower of Terror. Yes, and I was pleasantly surprised. Yeah. I was pleasantly surprised. Tower of Terror is really iconic. But also so embarrassing because that ride just goes up and down. Whereas, like, if you know Orlando's Tower of Terror, it goes, it, like, goes out, in. It, like, in. Yeah, like, it, like, le- oh, my God. That Orlando's Tower of Terror is so good because so you good. think it's just, like, an elevator shaft. But uh, then uh, you, uh, like... Uh, you go into the and hallway. When it opens and you see the yeah, <laughs> you literally go into the twilight. Okay, zone. the Yeti at Animal oh Kingdom. Oh my god! You know what they have? Like at what? Disneyland, they they put like a little Yeti in like their bobsled Matterhorn. Okay, ride. okay, stupid. Yeah. Wait, is there like there's no like Animal Kingdom, right? No. Yeah. They don't like they don't have the room. It's so embarrassing. Yeah, I I love Disney World. I d- would you want to go to Disney World Paris? Yes, and I I studied abroad in London. Um, yeah, I know you did as well, and. I wanted to go so bad to yeah. the train over Loki just for that reason. It's just the channel. No one wanted to go. Really? They're like, why would you study abroad to do the most American thing? Yeah, it's Shut funny. The fuck up. It's funny because my dad was visiting me at one point. He's like, oh, should we like go somewhere for a weekend or should we just stay in London? And I was like, and my dad really wanted to go to oh Disneyland Paris. That's and so then, cute. Um, my mom and sisters and I ended up going, and we were debating like Versailles or Disneyland Paris, and they wanted to go to Versailles. Like, uh, I'm sorry. I feel okay. To be fair, like Paris, I was only there for 36 hours. I feel like I should have done the Parisian things, but if you're going to Paris for a second time. That's when you do yeah, Disneyland Paris. Yeah. Or if you're there for a while, like, why not? If you're there make for a, a week, day? like, absolutely go to Disneyland yeah. Paris, in my opinion. But also, d- like, is if there? you look at the history or the lore of it and whatever, Disneyland Paris is one of, like, uh, who is it? Bob, not Bob Iger, whoever was before. It was, like, one of their biggest flops. And it was, like, a financial flop, apparently. Is Disneyland Paris not good? No. No one talks about it. It's n- I, like it's not that good. You know what is really good, and I want to go so fucking is bad. Is there Tokyo? Yes, and, and I bet Tokyo. People crazy. say that Disney. It's there's a park called Disneyland Sea, and it's like people say it's the best amusement park in the world. Really? Mm-hmm. Is the Nintendo amusement park in Tokyo open? Babe, they opened that in L.A. as well. You know, and that's Universal. Wait. No, th- I think there's a whole. No, n- girl, ugh, you need to catch up. Universal Studios is making has made in Tokyo. Oh and yeah, yeah, also yeah. Also in LA, and it's gonna open o- in Orlando as well. Orlando's is gonna be bigger. Um, oh wait, and I Nintendo kinda... World. Do you know Universal Studios is making a third park? No. As we s- <gasps> They're like where? Ma- it's gonna open in like Orlando? next year. Yeah, a third park. It's called Epic Universe. So it's going to be Universal what's, what's Studios, the Islands of Adventure. Well, they're lo- Epic they're Universe. losing a lot of IP. Um, it's different IP. They're making um crime. What's it called? Fantastic Beasts. Uh, yeah, they're making a Dis- area the for that. Flop, flop. I know Fantastic Beasts is that a flop. So, those movies are so bad. I just have no interest. Like, and I don't think I even I watched the first one. I think I don't and, need to be like, in a amusement park for that. No, stupid, well, stupid. What? <laughs> They patented some. This is what I mean by like I watch videos, like I watch construction yeah, I can updates tell. and Jesus stuff. Jesus Christ! Who is it? There's some. It's theme park review or something. There's some YouTube channel. And there's this lady who's like, Epic Universe is making waves with their construction. <laughs> you can see over here where People it's have like set. drones. I bet. Yes, they're like aerial pictures. Like I don't know who's snapping them, but like. Crazy. Yeah, and I I watch those. There's a really cool looking roller coaster they're making with like, um, dueling tracks. So like Fantastic Beasts. No, I don't. Or? I don't know if it, it's yellow. What other IPs are they doing? There's a monster section I think for like Frankenstein and like all their monster type things. Godzilla and the, King Kong. Oh, uh, I think because there's a King Kong yeah, ride. Yeah, I think so. Um. I don't know what else, but I think Nintendo's also in that park as well. Because I saw pictures of the Japan one, and I was like, well, that looks fun. You know what's interesting, though? What? That's going to be unique to this park. What? They are making a um, Donkey Kong section. 
an, in addition to like the Nintendo. Oh, cool. So like you take a pipe or something and then it brings you to the uh, Donkey Kong That's so section. cool. Yeah. And they're making a Donkey Kong. I'm such a nerd. I'm <laughs> yeah, like, you oh, are. Yeah. They're making a Donkey Kong roller coaster and they patented this idea or this plan or whatever for like the ride vehicle to jump the track. Like it makes it look like you jump the track. But you don't. No, because because I think the it looks like you're on a track, but underneath it is the real track, and then there's like a, a thingy that connects the the two. I don't, it's hard to explain. Yeah, but. you're losing me. Um, but I can't wait. I was so I was also following like all the updates for the Mario Kart ride. Flop. Really? Well. Everyone's so it's this not like test track and it's augmented reality. So no. it's it's but it listen, apparently it's really good when you're in it, but like videos of it look really lame. But you're in a ride vehicle, it's like a dark ride, and then it like moves and stuff, but you're wearing this hat that has glasses and you're literally playing the game. Like you see all like the people coming at oh, you and you like crazy. throw stuff and like you get items. I like, I'll have to see it. Well, you just d- make an opinion. You have to experience it. Yeah, I have it. to experience it. But yeah, I love amusement Me parks. Me too. What's your favorite like amusement park like snack food? Um, well, Harry Potter World, I'll always get a butter beer. They're like, so sugary and delicious. Oh my god, you know what mine is? A corn dog, no. a turkey leg. Yeah, yeah. I am disgusted by people who eat those turkey legs. It's like <laughs> barbaric. I love a turkey leg. It looks like you're eating in Adventureland, a human femur. A turkey leg in Frontierland, Adventureland, whatever the fuck it is. It's like magical. Do you like Dole that, Whips? Like, I've never had it. I haven't either. I want it so bad. I uh, love the churros at the Mexico Pavilion. Yeah, love, I like love, a churro. Love. I love... I love the French restaurant in Epcot. It's so silly and fun. Yeah. We went there last time we were there. Yeah. I, that's when I learned what escargot was. Yeah. I didn't know what it was. Sierra got it. Yeah. Um, I love. Hi, Sierra. Hi, Sierra. I love. Um, you love corn dogs, though. That's an amusement park. I do food. love corn dogs. I love funnel cake. That's kind of amusement parky. Fun. I like um, uh, the Mickey ice cream bar. I think it's really cute. Oh, me fun. too. It's cute. Oh, what I was going to say a long time ago when we were talking about Disneyland, when I went last time, I got drunk. I went on a bender and it was like the, the I feel like one of the most fun things you can do is get I'm drunk in an amusement park. Like I it's have so I don't fun. even think I've been to an amusement park since the pandemic. And we've been feral to go. Like and we, since Grant and I went to college in uh Florida, I was going like once or twice a year when we were in Florida. Like mm. I'd go to my dad would take me to like Disney or Universal. I would go like and every year. Go. I did competitive cheerleading, all star cheerleading. Shout out World Cup Odyssey. Woo-hoo! Woo-hoo! Um, but like every year they had worlds, obviously like the world championships at Disney. Yeah. And then also like another f- more kind of fun, less serious comp UCA at Disney World. And then college too was Disney. So I, yeah, I was going a lot going up a until lot. like now. You should really plan a trip. I know. We about and I it. have a friend who works for the company. Yeah, you so we could get free passes. That. Yeah, I have a friend of Peter Pan. Yeah, <laughs> who, who? Yeah, so like we can like get. We passes. should. We should really uh, flights to Orlando are like pretty cheap. We should just do it. We need to just do it. We need to just do it. Let's do it. Let's just do it. I want to go so bad. Me too. Stay I'm tuned. like feral for Disney right now because I, I just love the whole like you're there from like. Like dawn till dusk. I want to stay on property too. Oh, you like the grand flirt? <laughs> yeah, like I want to take a monorail to the resort. Me too. Uh, I, I, I stayed at take the bus. Oh wait, I so my for my cousin's hi Olivia tenth birthday, my um, aunt and uncle took Olivia and I to Disney mm-hmm. in fourth grade, and we stayed at the Grand Floridian. Oh my god, luxury! It was bougie. Yeah. It was like the nicest. At 10 years old, it was the nicest hotel I've ever been for sure. And we stayed there. And I guess, like, overnight, there was, like, police and, like, news. (gasps) Because... The alligator? No. Oh. That was years later. Oh, yeah. That was was really sad. I'm sorry. Um, Years later... (laughs) Sorry. (laughs) I got got caught up. Um, Rest in peace to that poor boy. Yeah, that's fucked if up. If y'all didn't know, someone got... Don't go in the fucking water if you go to At Disney the Grand World. Floor. Well, like they took all the alligators 
out, but I mean, how can what you, do you like, mean? guarantee You can't guarantee Florida. all the waters are connected. You do not. There's a beach. There's like a beach. If you stay on one of these, you know, properties, it's not a beach. And they for you make to it look like it's in. like they I, make it, it look does. like it, the chairs, the like it's like a beach. But uh. anyway, don't go with those waters. <laughs> okay, back to my story. The You're at the Grand Floridian. Police came oh, because yeah. I guess a mom who did not have custody of her son, like, kidnapped her son, like, didn't take <gasps> oh, him back uh, and uh, took him to, to like, Disney. Disney oh. Like, the Grand Floridian. Okay. But all these, like, like it was kidnapped, like, abduction. All dramatic. these, like, police came. Yeah, it was Who crazy. the fuck would kidnap someone and take them to Disney World? Well, probably It was a such a, like, people. Disney's just so fun and magical and i love it it's so fun um yeah and, and it's like six flags for adventure that's like a different genre obviously disney are Universal. you a water park person I like i could be but I, now i'm thinking about plants or warts me too but like i really do love a water slide when me? you're in a tube, I don't really like the body to body contact ones. I know. But when you're in a tube, so I went to this one at Right. SeaWorld. <gasps> I did I did in high school. <gasps> and we went my we would After never do that now. Blackfish was out? I think it was my freshman year. I had not seen it that morning. I remember watching Blackfish sophomore year. It was probably out, but I had just not seen it. Oh, how No, I, I'm just admitting it. I would never go now. I'm, like, so not about... I'm not even about Animal Kingdom, to be completely honest. Like, oh. I just, like, I'm, like, mm, I don't really love it. But I went to the water park at SeaWorld, and there was the craziest water park like ride i've ever been on you're on a this? platform standing oh and it drops and the person you you would love this job I'm the power the person just drops like you at their the will and, and then the floor drops under yeah you and, and you he knew i was scared out. so he made me wait like two and a half minutes before there. He did. but grant the deluge of water <laughs> That the velocity of the water, because you're getting pushed down. The water's, like, getting going up almost. I was suffocating, like, drowning the well, whole ride. Falling. I was, like, screaming in agony because I was actually, like, drowning the entire ride. Oh to the point where, like, I couldn't, like... Br- like, the water was so up my nose, in my <laughs> throat. Like, I... It was the scariest ride I've ever been on. And then it just, like, dumps you. Not You know how most rides, like, you go out into, like, a nice little pool and then yeah. you walk out? It dumps into, like, you little... into, like, a six-foot, like, just, like, pool. Like, just, like, oh, it tiny just dumps pool. You. It just, like, dumps you in there. Okay, sometimes I'm, like, with rides and, like, water slides, I'm, like, what are we doing? Like, yeah. We paid money and waited in like an hour long Humans line. Humans are so silly. To be tossed around by a piece of machinery. <laughs> Humans To just are, feel something. Humans are silly. It's like kind of cute. It's like, oh, It is we cute. want to like have a good time. I'm just like, so I'll catch myself like in line sometimes. Like I'm really waiting like 45 minutes. Just to, to, be, be, thrown to be thrown around. around thrashed, if you will. By a piece of metal. Metal. Or like to go down a slide and, and almost I, drown. If I could go tomorrow, I would. I would too. I would, I would line up right it's now. It's so fun. It is. Wearing Mickey ears. Oh, it's so fun. Oh my God. Yeah. Get I, a damn cold lemonade. Yes. Yes. In that Florida heat. No, the best time to go to Disney is like. October. If we're going to go. I was going to say October. Mm-hmm. Also like. Like. Because I feel like I'd usually go over Thanksgiving break. Like, in mm. high school, I'd go in, like, November. Yeah, That's it's a good not, time to it's go. It's crowded. And it's then not also, that like, even, like, February, March, it's a little cool. It's, like, pretty mm. nice to go. I, like, I'm sorry. Like, I do not want to go in June, July. Yeah. It's so hot. Yeah, no. But. Oh, I love amusement parks. Me too. We're going to go soon. We're and, we are. And you guys are going to see it. because we, we should get autographs all with all it. the characters. <gasps> I did uh, do, that when I was okay, in third wait, grade. Wait, you know the autograph book? Yeah. Who did I talk to about this with recently? I was also a pin person when I was young. Okay, but you know the autograph book? Yeah. You know how it was kind of squishy? Yeah. I used to chew on it. <laughs> I would do that too. It's a good texture. Wait, really? Yeah. Someone else I talked to recently also said that they chewed on their I, autograph I book. 
I didn't chew on mine. I had but teeth marks. given the opportunity, I probably would. I still would. I li- I was like probably ten. Just chomping on, that. on it, and I yeah. had teeth marks in my. Blue no, it's a really satisfying. Book. It was chewy. Oh, was mine like was squishy. blue too. Yeah, the blue one blue? has stars. I don't know. Did don't you know. did you collect pins? No, that I'm not I that collect gay. pins. Yeah, that's pretty weird. No, I loved it. No, I like pin- stitch. Mm. I love that I'm oh, celebrating mermaid. pins. Oh, I have a really cute picture of me meeting Little Mermaid because I was like, oh my god, we look a little alike. I love you. Mm, okay. Uh, oh, I I had. Me. I remember I felt the same way when I met Goofy. Cause I, was you're like goofy. We, I was like, we look a lot alike. alike. You know, that like really bougie. Um, Bippity boppity boogie. This is, no. Oh. Crystal Palace. The buffet? Yeah. That is not. No, but it's like hard to get a reservation. But, and Tigger like no, walks yeah, around and bo- Winnie the Pooh. It's not bougie, but it's like you need to get a reservation like six months out. Yeah. Like what? Now cr- you don't. You used to. Mm. It used to be like literally impossible i know where it is it's in um it's it's a white building yeah i went there like, yeah i've been there and yeah winnie the pooh walks it's for like babies and like three-year-olds but i'd go right now yeah i'd go right now and what about <gasps> they have a uh, restaurant where you go to space now like you take an elevator up to Ooh. space in epcot I Damn, they that. just keep on I can't, innovating. I, I literally keep, won't shut the fuck up about this kind yeah of stuff. we should so just I shut the fuck we'll, up i guess we'll just stop but that's amusement parks, you guys. We love like, them. Catch us there soon. Let's have a meet and greet. Yeah. At, at fucking Epcot. Yeah. Drink around the world. Yeah. Announcements for, for the, the good, good of, of the, the group. So for announcements for the good of the group, you guys, mine is something we have discussed before. I think have been noticing something and I of course we can't confirm or deny but like basically I think straight women are dating dating gay gay men men. yes and it's like again it's from me being like judgy and walking past someone and being like that man is gay but then all of a sudden they're like holding hands with a straight woman yeah and i'm like what what's going on and like on our we live in brooklyn and like we walk past a lot of restaurants like going from the subway here i always see like a man who looks you know in my eyes like i feel like i have a pretty good gaydar i'm like that man is gay and then he's like cuddling up with someone in, on the same side of the table, like on a date or something with a girl. Yeah. I'm it's just crazy. I'm just like, what is going on with that? There's something in the air this summer. And straight women, like, open your eyes, please. Like, please. Like, your boyfriend is gay. That's that's my observation. Um, and once you see it, valid. you won't stop seeing once it. Once you brought it up to me, I feel like I have seen it more. Yeah, it's, y'all will see it. It has that effect on you. Keep your eyes peeled. Keep your eyes peeled. Stay vigilant. And there's nothing wrong with asking your boyfriend, are you gay? Yeah. Also, like... Just check in. Yeah, just check in. Maybe he's bi. Yeah, and that's fine. fine. Yeah. Just check in. Pan, Stay whatever. vigilant. What's your announcement for the good of the group? My announcement for the good of the group is I'm learning Russian again. (laughs) (laughs) Ashley, I was a Russian or I, sorry, I was a Slavic studies minor in college. Like for what? I just was like, when I went to college. This is pre-Ukraine, you guys, by the way. It's not like she did this with some weird purpose to maybe, like, go to Ukraine yeah, and help no. people and, no, you know, translate. I no, no, I have always been a very, like, curious person. And I was like, you know what? I really want to get into language because I love – I'm a very big history buff. Love Russian history. I was required to take a language. Mm-hmm. So I was like, fuck it. I'll do Russian language. So I took – Slavic studies, all four years of college. Um, and I was going to spend. Здравствуйте, меня зовут Ashley. Привет. Как дела? What the fuck did you just say How about my you? cock? 
Say it again. Cock de la. Cock means like. Cock. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like sur- in the Cyrillic alphabet, it would be like K A K. Kind of. It doesn't matter how it's spelled. It's cock de la. You're still saying cock. Yeah. Cock a doodle do. Um. Anyway, <coughs> I was gonna spend the summer between junior year of college and senior year of college in Moscow for three <laughs> months, <laughs> you studying at uh like Moscow School of Economics or something. I feel like you wouldn't have come back. And I was gonna see Harry Styles by myself there. Uh, I think he I was had going a to Harry Styles. Or Harry he Styles to go to Moscow. Did this he was still? Like a, no, this is a different time. They don't tour there anymore. Uh, um, and it was canceled because of COVID. But I really enjoyed and studying. And then double it. canceled because of the war. Oh yeah, and they obviously do not go there anymore because of the political situation with mm. Ukraine and the United States relationship. Um, what Ukraine, Ukraine and Russia? No, Russia's. I'm saying because of not only Russia's situation in Ukraine, but Russia's relationship to the U.S. You said Ukraine's relationship with the U.S. I don't think I did. No, you did. And I we'll said play Ukraine back and, you guys can and their it. relationship to the U.S. <laughs> Russia's. I meant Russia's as the. Oh, uh, okay. Well, I read it differently. Okay, so. we'll just stay curious and ask. Um, <laughs> Uh, and I really liked it, so I decided to get back into it. So I um have a course. I purchased a course. What? Actually, my mom and dad purchased it for me last year, my birthday, and I just never did anything with it. And now I've decided to. Um, what? And I've been committing like forty five minutes to an hour a day. Wow. And I'm trying to get back into it, and I'm studying. I have note cards, and I'm just gonna like teach myself the language again. Interesting. <laughs> I this is really weird because recently I had an epiphany that I want to like I took Italian as my language yeah. and like even throughout high school recently I was like I want to be fluent in Italian because I know so much of it and like I like you'd be surprised like with the Russian because obviously like a whole different alphabet and write the handwriting is like oh my god the handwriting's Don't. really complicated but like it's like riding a bike like once you just like you kind of fall back into it yeah yeah Yeah. and like once you learn like the foundations or basics of a language i feel like it's so easy to like just pick up on things yeah like i was trying to like well now i can't think of the example but like if you gave me a word to say in italian i would know it or i'd come up with a pretty close guess basket la (laughs) basquetta what if it is what television uh, televisione television okay you're just adding no i'm not but that's how it is okay um angry um cattivo wait that's like evil oh that's pretty good though cattivo but like potential uh, like for example i feel like the word potential would be potentiale yeah you know what i mean sure well, yeah, I think we should all stay curious, get back into our <laughs> language learning. Yeah, let's get Ever back since I left it. college, I'm trying. I feel like there's like a void where I'm not like learning as much. And I really did enjoy that. Yeah, and you can tell with just how you speak. Yeah, I know. I'm like, I'm literally losing brain cells. Oh, my I just God. scroll through TikTok all fucking day. That is true. Um, so I'm trying to that. become more studious. So I'm learning Russian again. That's cool. Um, yeah, Gavarup. To say bruta. Da. Anyway, that's my announcement. I hope you all um, learn Russian as well. Yes, and if you guys have announcements, you can DM us at a twink and a redhead with underscores. You know what I mean? Or else. Um, but yeah, that's it. Ci vediamo. <laughs> Bet you don't know what that means or how to say see you later in Russian. But. Do svidania. Okay, well, <laughs> um, it's been so fun, you guys. Arrivederci. Paka. Um, to say. Toodaloo. Bella. Okay, nice meeting you guys. Ciao. Bye. Nice meeting you. Wait, you don't know how to. Piacere. You don't know how to say nice meeting you in Russian. Uh, something pod na komitia. Piacere. Bye. Ciao. A twink.